Now, this holiday home is situated just off the picturesque R62 in the Klein Karur, and it's actually not too far away from Ladysmith. It's a luxurious hideaway spot that makes Sonica Buxtek choose the block and chisel as our Dulux House of the Month. One of the most famous routes in South Africa would be Route 62. It is a firm favorite among so many tourists. It meanders all the way from Worcester through to Otwaring, offering you the most magnificent landscapes, towering cliffs, and crystal clear streams. And it is here, just off Route 62, before you hit Lady Smith, where you will find nestled into the hills of the Toesburg Private Game and Nature Reserve, our Dulux House of the Month. Stony Cottage is a three-bedroom, three-bathroom hideaway where the mountains have literally been brought to the house through packed stone on the exterior walls. Wow, Sonica, I am blown away by the scenery. I'm blown away by this house. But I think the thing that I find the most interesting is the fact that they added so much wood. But given the harsh Karoo climate, it can get either very hot or very cold. How do you go about treating your wood correctly to ensure that it will last for years to come? Well, Eunice, you know, Dulux is a trusted brand when it comes to the protection of the exterior of your home. We've got a lovely range of varnishes and timber preservatives to protect the wood of your home. It's also available in quite a wide range of colors. Um, with, with this instance, I would say rather keep to a, a clear varnish or a timber preservative to show the intrinsic beauty of the wood. The owners, Lynn and Sibley McAdam, were sensitive to the unique environment that is the Klein Karoo, playing with subtle textures and form. The interior of the house is an eclectic mix of pieces from actually all over the world. Quite rustic, um, sort of earthy colours, different textures, a lot of different textures mixed together. I actually tended to go for the darker colours because, you know, they're less obvious and they seem to blend in a lot better with the environment. So we went for the dark, muddy browns and then it gives you a nice cool feeling. And in winter it's cosy you know, with a fire going and everything. For a light eco footprint, solar panels and gas power the home and there's not a telephone pole in sight. I think the owners of this house were very successful in capturing the outdoor landscape, which is very tranquil, it's very vast, and replicating it on the inside of their home. You'll also notice that they've used very dark, muted earth tone color on the walls. And what this does, it actually integrates the home with the environment. So it becomes a seamless flow from the outdoor with regards to the indoors. What advice can you give to viewers at home wanting to create the same effect in their own homes, but not necessarily have a view like that in their own backyard? Yes, you're quite right. If you live in the city, you don't necessarily want to replicate the atmosphere or the buzz of the city on the inside of your home. So to create a tranquil interior in the city, I would recommend to just layer neutrals. Choose one color and layer it with the lighter shades or the darker shades. If you feel it might become a bit too bland, you can add interest by playing with different textures. Well, I must commend the owners. They got the balance just right but I think all that's left for you and I to do is to enjoy a nice little drink and kick back and relax. With the Dulux color stand it's easy to bring a little Karoo inspired palette to your home and if you want to escape the world and visit Stony Cottage take a peek at the perfect hideaways website. Route 62 is calling. Adding color to your morning with Espresso and Dulux.